Hello YouTube, I'm done it's over here again today and I received in the mail my order of Dragon Ball Super card game. These are the two starter decks for set 4, Colossal Warfare. We've got the Guardians of the Namekians and the Crimson Saiyan starter decks. Uh, I will be opening those in case you haven't already seen them online, I will be opening these but I wanted to do this video mainly because this will be my first ever dash pack opening. I This order came through from online from a online store called Game Nerds and I can leave the information to them down in the description below and it said that if I ordered these you know two structured decks just like you're supposed to you'll get a dash pack. So I've been in this game since well before it actually got started back in the demo deck days as you can see from my channels or yeah from the videos on my channel but I never really bought a lot of product because it hasn't been super big and popular in my area. But anyhow, you get these dash packs by buying product, which I was unable to afford to do and really didn't have the reason to since there wasn't a lot of players. But anyhow, I got these two. This is my first dash pack. This is from Series 4 Super Dash Pack. And I'm actually looking to pull this very Bardock right here. I'm a big Bardock fan, so I'm going to start by opening up the dash pack. As everybody has already seen the decks, that can come later, but the dash pack's the important part. So here we go. I'm really hoping that I pull the black Bardock. Alright. Alright, let's see if I am lucky. And I am! Oh yeah, Desperate Onslaught Bardock. Now the reason I wanna wanted this guy above all the other four dash pack promos is because this guy is going to have a nice place in my father and son black and blue Bardock deck. It's a full power father and son is the build I'm calling it. It uses the black Bardock leader from set 3, the starter deck from set 3, and the Goku blue all the way up to Ultra Instinct. But anyway, this guy's got a 4 cost, but you can overwhelm him in for 5, which means you have to have at least 5 cards in your graveyard, and then you send them to the warp. Uh, he comes in for overwhelm for a turn. He's got critical. And auto, when this card attacks during the turn you used Overrealm, or, yeah, played this card with Overrealm, your opponent may not combo with battle cards in their battle area, or activate blocker for the duration of the battle. So there's no, it's straight up combo from hand, otherwise you're going to lose a life. And I want a place out of these, I've got one, so now I just need three. So he's going to have a nice little place up there to the top of the screen. And now we're going to go and carefully open up this Temekian deck. I'm going to take it off camera a bit so I can, uh, let's see, slice the tape. Okay, we got one. And it looks like... There is, a, there is a trick to opening and keeping these boxes nice. So here, I actually got the tape on the sides peeled off. And it's got this weird uh, lip in it, right? In this little section right here that this tab folds down into. So if you don't want to destroy your box, which I don't, you have to open it up real carefully. So we've got, got the box open without it being torn. And now we can empty out the contents, which... Uh, as you can see, is in there another rule manual. Uh, this is the playmat. It's got a cool picture of Piccolo on it. Each of the playmats out of all these starter decks have been unique. I mean, the same game zones and everything, but they've had different images and stuff on them, and I thought that was really neat. Uh, this is Piccolo Junior Evil Reborn. Now, opening the deck. A lot of people seem to have trouble with opening these decks online. Um, I'm going to show them a little secret in case everybody out there doesn't already know this. There is a little pull tab right here in the side, so you don't have to shred it on the top or the bottom or the other sides. You find it right here. Here's the little pull tab. You can see my finger is attached to something, and you just rip it right around. Then you can lift the top of the plastic right off. Followed then by slipping off the bottom. No ripping or tearing, no massacring any packaging, nothing. So it all comes out nice and easy. It's, uh, what I like to dub a cigarette pack opener. I'm not a smoker by any means, but I've been around smokers long enough to know that when you open up your thing, there's a little tab. Anyway, these decks are packaged just like that. All right, so this is Piccolo Jr., Evil Reborn. He's the leader of the deck. 
There's Piccolo Jr. When this card attacks a leader, draw one card and awaken. You can change two of your energies and flip them over. Pretty standard stuff for these guys now. But on his awaken side, once per turn, you can pay a green energy. And basically, uh, kill anything with a cost five or less on your opponent's side. So it's really, really good. All right, so we're going to put the Piccolo down there, I suppose. And here's another Piccolo, King Piccolo, Lord of Terror. He's a double striker with Bond 3. Bond is a, the new mechanic for this set. It requires you to have multiple of certain named cards in play, uh, mainly Namekians, which would be, you know, subtype down here. Uh, Indomitable Link Sun Gohan. We get uh, two of those, it looks like. Indomitable Link Piccolo. It's another two, I believe. A non-foil Lord of Terror Piccolo. Uh, Namekian Bond Sonel. Uh, this is a Bond 3, so if you have three Namekians in play, uh, you can start activating the printed abilities on these cards, and we have a place out of him. And he's actually one of the big beat sticks of the deck, so that's nice. Uh, Newfound Power Sun Gohan. A uh, beautiful green card here. Allows you to take a life, which helps you self-awaken. Gains 10k in critical. So these things are becoming very popular in today's meta. Uh, Power Barrier Piccolo. Just a barrier unit, so your opponent can't target it with their own card effects. Uh, Gift of Power Guru. Uh, choose one of your battle cards. It gains 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. This guy is actually really decent. Uh, especially if you can get four of them on there. That's a plus 20k to anything. And if you put that on the Solnel, who will gain critical and all that kind of stuff, really nice. Uh, Kindhearted Dende. Uh, yeah, he's your typical one-cost searcher. Search the top three for uh, Namekian, I guess. So that's pretty good. Another version of Sonel, who is one of the... I guess really bad Namekians. I don't actually remember that series, sadly. Uh, this is a super combo, and we get four of those. No deck is complete without four super combo, which is all you're allowed. Namekian Dual Prina. Oh, yeah, I guess this is the one I was talking about. Um, choose one Namekian from your hand, place it under this card, draw one card, and this card gains 10,000 in critical. So he's got sort of a Union Absorby kind of effect to him, which these Namekian guys like to sort of absorb themselves and fuse into themselves. So this guy with four of the Giru will be a, gee, a 40,000 critical. That'd be pretty bad. Uh, tambourine, uh, standard crit unit, 15k crit. Uh, symbol, apparently, yeah, he's a blocker. And then drum, you get two of, oh, I guess you get four drum. Wow, yeah. Uh, anyway, he's a one drop 10k, so that's a decent beater for being vanilla, I suppose. And here's the new Rage card right here, Planet Namek. It's a field card. Uh, active main, once per turn, choose one card in your hand. Place it in your drop area. Look at up to five cards from the top of your deck. Choose up to one Namekian with an energy cost two or less from among them. And put it into play. So you get your free searching to allow you to pop off the bonds. Well, not really free. you got to discard a card and pay one, but it's still relatively cheap. And then your four negates, and these are newer negates. Instead of just paying one and negating something, they've got alternate costs and abilities here. It says uh, you, you can pay the one, and it'll straight up negate the attack, or permanent. If your leader card is Namekian, when you activate this card's counter, you may choose one card from your life and add it to your hand. If you do so, you may activate this card's counter without paying the energy cost. So you can damage yourself to prevent something else from damaging yourself. So if you're staring down the barrel of a double strike or a triple strike or, hell, anything with critical, really, this thing will be a good way to get around it. And that would be the entirety of the deck. These will be sleeved and left as they are so I can show other people how to play the game when, when they request it. But, uh, yep, we've got the Namekian Piccolo. And now we're going to go and uh, pop the tape on the side here. And get into the Crimson Saiyan. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. Once you have, have the tape sliced, you just slide your thumb in under there. You can pop the little yeah, pop the little tab out of the support. that box up over there and this would be another mat now i don't think that this particular mat's been showcased but this has got a giant great ape goku on it 
uh, as you can sort of kind of see here, uh, I guess my camera's kind of too close to get the full image, but yeah, giant gold ape Super Saiyan craziness. And this would be the Saiyan 4. Now, I've recently started playing uh, Dragon Ball Budokai Tenkaichi 3 on the PlayStation 2, although I've got it on PlayStation 3 with backward compatibility. And as a matter of fact, I just got these decks in today, the very same day that I was playing through the GT Saga in that game, and unlocked this guy. Because he goes from Sun Goku into Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 3 Sun Goku, and then he goes Super Saiyan 4 right into this guy. So it was really nice to see him on the day that I actually unlocked him in the video game. And yes, I had the game beat many, many years ago. It is 11 years old after all. But I wanted to restart and just go through the entire saga and just do it all over again. Anyway, um, long odds, SS4, Son Goku. I uh, can't really see it, but uh, regular, when he starts off, Golden Great Ape Son Goku. So when he attacks, a leader card, draw a card, and then you awaken to four or less and switch two of your energies to active. Goes into this behemoth. And he's uh, attack, draw a card, permanent. If you're, yeah. E yeah, if your life is equal to or less than your opponent, he gains 5,000 in critical. So really, really, really good leader, especially if you can keep your opponent and you tied up until you're ready to finish. Uh, Reborn Might, Sun Goku. Oh yeah, this deck utilizes the swap mechanic, which is very, very powerful, and well, we have yet to see if it's going to be a, yet another mistake on Bandai's part, but yeah, we'll see. Um, anyhow, uh, we got Power Charge Bardock, you can get two of those. Super Saiyan Blue Sun Goku at the Apex, you get four of those. Reborn Might Super Saiyan 4 Sun Goku. Uh, looks like you get one, and then you had the the foil version, so that's really cool. Uh, Ultimate Potential Super Saiyan 2 Sun Gohan. You get two of those. Indomitable Destiny Sun Gohan, looks like you get four. Dependable Dynasty Sun Goku. And this, like I said, this deck focuses on yet another new mechanic, like the Namekians have Bond. This is a Goku's Lineage deck. And it goes through the entirety of the Goku Goku's life, I guess you could say, from him being, you know, power pole and tail, right on up to the Super Saiyan 4 of of the GT saga. And the swap mechanic is incredibly powerful. Like you see this guy, it says swap two with a uh, one cost of yellow. So if this guy is on the field, you can activate this ability by paying one, and then you can swap into any other two cost, which would be another copy of this guy if you wanted to. And uh, the card that's in play comes back to your hand, and then you immediately play the two cost for only paying one. So the, con the the idea is to play a card, get a use out of it, bounce it back to your hand, play another card in active mode, get your use out of it, bounce it back to your hand, and just keep spamming it out without losing anything in your hand while applying a massive amount of pressure on your opponent. And the higher they get, the better they are. Like this says it's a swap five for three. So if you had a 5 cost up here in your hand, when this guy was on the board, you only have to pay 3 to play a 5. So you're attacking for 2,000, bouncing these guys back to your hand, going into whatever the 5 costs would be, which would be uh, these Indomitable, uh, yeah, not that, uh, the Sun Goku at his Apex and everything. Then they can swap into 8 and just craziness and way lots of bang for your buck. A lot of the cards right now, the, the, super, yeah, the super rare... Uh, Bardock, which is a one drop that's essentially pay one and then you can swap into a two for free. Doesn't even have an energy cost aside from the one to play him. It's a near $20 card right now. And then the eight, the eight cost, which is notice we don't have in the, in the, any in the deck here. Um, they're quite valuable too in their SRs out of this Colossal Warfare set. And you get four of those. Prodigal Dynasty Sun Goten, four of those. And we got your super combo, and this is an interesting new super combo. You can swap it. It can come into play with swap, and it's a super combo, but it's got 15k attack strength. And typical super combo stuff is when your leader is a Goku lineage, you're at 4 or less life, draw a card, and then plus 10k for this for the shield. But more specifically, it's uh, you can swap it in with your swap, so you can always get it back to your hand if you needed to. And it's a 15k, so it's going to put pressure on the opponent. Every other super combo, even if they hadn't had the super combo tag on them, has been 12k. 
So what the heck is Bandai thinking, stepping it up so now your super combos can start damaging your awakened leader? That's an insane amount of pressure. And, well, well I, we have yet to see how that's going to affect the game, but right now, 15k instead of 12? They need to step it up and give everybody else a 15k super combo, I guess. Alright, then we got Dynasty Solus Chi Chi. She's the searcher for Goku's lineage. Um, top three, grab a Goku's lineage. Uh, absolute father, son, Gohan. The person who found little baby monkey Goku. That's a swap two. And you don't have to pay any energy, so he comes into play. You can swap him out for a two immediately, but he's also a blocker, so that's really good. And another one of these uh, powerful cards, it's uh, ten times Kamehameha. It's active main if your leader card is Goku's lineage with Son Goku in its character's name. 15k strength and double strike for one. So obviously with this leader, as it would depict, it goes up to 30k double strike. And because of his own ability here, 35 and critical if you're even life with your opponent. 35 and crit. That allows you to draw a card, and for one energy, just insane. And yes, you can stack them. And you have two of those, and then you've got four instant transmission, which is the negate attack for this deck, and it works the same way as the sacrifice does. If you don't want to pay the energy cost, you can simply take a life and add that to your hand and then negate the attack anyway. So that would be the, uh, yep, the Goku lineage deck. Grab this guy here. So we got the Goku's Lineage deck. We've got the Piccolo deck. And my very first ever Dash Pack. I'm glad to share it with you, YouTube. And it happened to be one of the guys, uh, the, the one I wanted. Desperate Onslaught Bardock. I am looking for three more. So if anybody has them out there, hit me up. I am willing to do maybe three to four bucks a piece on each of them. Um, but anyway, I got Desperate Onslaught Bardock. Yay for me. And, uh, yep. That'll be the end of this video. Thank you, YouTube. Have a great one.